Hi guys, I'm Raval. Welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how we can use Faker to populate a database with Laravel. So prerequisite, this video assumes you have a basic understanding of OOP and MVC. You have a fresh install of Laravel 5.3 installed, have a basic understanding of Laravel and have a MySQL database set up. Now I know that can be a lot to assume, but if you're going to be watching a video on how you can use Faker to see data in a database, you're going to have a basic understanding of these things. If you don't have your Laravel installation or your MySQL database set up, please pause this video now and do those things because you need that to follow along with this video. So introduction. We will set up a model and migration for a table. We will use the migration to create the table. We will then set up a database seeder and using Faker we are going to populate the database with some data. The aim of this video is just to introduce you to Faker. So what is Faker? Faker is a PHP library that generates fake data for you. You can use this data to populate your database. It's as simple as that. So what are the advantages of using Faker? it's less time consuming to add dummy data to your database. So we all know we need dummy data and when it comes to something like stress testing, we need a mass amount of records in, in order for us to perform stress tests. With Faker, we can easily create hundreds of records very quickly. When it comes to automated tests like acceptance tests, so for example, if we need to log into an admin panel, then create a record filling in a form with dummy data, we can use Faker to generate this dummy data for us instead of hard coding it into our tests. Also, when building your projects, obviously we need to develop stuff like pagination, maybe the front end for blog posts. We can use, dummy, uh, we can use Faker to create the dummy data for the pagination and blog posts. So it makes it very easy for us to develop and test our site. Okay guys, so let's take a look at how we can use Faker to populate a database. So the first thing we're going to do is set up our model and our migration. And we can do that by just going php artisan make model article and then just do dash m so it creates the migration as well. So let that run. So as you can see in our app folder we now have an article model and in our database migrations we should have create articles table so what we're going to do here is we're going to say table and we're going to say let's have a title for our article sorry it should be a string because our title is going to be here and our title is going to be a string table again and this time we're going to say content uh, we're going to say text so we can have text for our content of our article. Okay, so we're gonna have ID, title, content, and our timestamps, which in Laravel, as you know, is created at and updated at. And we're just gonna keep it simple for now, and that's all we're gonna include in our articles table migration. So let's just do PHP artisan migrate and migration table created successfully. Great, so it's created our users table, password, recess, and articles table. The first two is just from our standard Laravel installation, so you can ignore that for this tutorial. And all you need to focus on is that, so it's created articles table, that's great. If we go to our local host here, oh well, our PHP my admin, and we'll see we have our articles table, which is excellent. So now let's try and populate that articles table with some data. And what we're going to do is we're going to use seeders, and we're going to use Laravel seeders. So what we're going to do is PHP artisan make cedar and we're going to call that articles table cedar okay so it says cedar created successfully you can find that here so articles table cedar so that's great so what we're going to do is we are going to use faker so let's find faker and it's factory we're going to use it as faker okay because Faker comes with Laravel. So it's a package that you can get from GitHub. You can use Composer to pull it into your project. But with Laravel, it comes shipped with Faker. So we can just reference it like this. 
come down to our run function and what we can do is we can say faker equals faker create and we're going to reference our model app article that should be fine for now okay so we have our faker object and now what we're going to do is we're going to do our standard Laravel stuff and that is we're going to you create our cedar we're going to say we want it to go to the articles table and we are going to insert so let's just find insert the following data so we have db table articles insert and now we're going to say go back to our articles table here our migration and see okay we need title content and timestamps so we're going to say title and for title we're going to use faker instead of putting a, a you know our own hard-coded content we're going to use faker to create our own and now straight away you can see we have access to all these various methods and um, we can use name we can use address but in this case we are just going to use sentence and you can see we can pass it the number of words but we're just going to have one simple sentence for our title for the content of our article we're going to use faker once again to generate some dummy content and you probably can guess it we're going to use paragraphs and we can define the amount of paragraphs and that is five actually i think we can just do sentence like that and we're just going to do five paragraphs now the thing is our content field in our db is actually a text field as we we um, set it here in our migration to be text with faker when you do paragraphs it actually puts it into an array so what we're just going to do here is implode that so it becomes just one massive chunk of text and we're going to need our timestamp so we're going to use updated at and for this we're going to use something called carbon which comes again with laravel i'm just going to say carbon now and we're going to say uh, created at and again we're going to use carbon and we're just going to say now okay i like to keep these like that so created at updated at cool so now we got our cedar it's going to run so let's do php artisan db seed and we're going to add articles table cedar so that should run and i wish our, uh, laravel could just say you know cedar run successfully but anyway let's go to our php my admin go to laravel tutorials articles and there you go we've inserted some dummy data using faker now you can say okay yeah we still have to do that a hundred times well no you don't all we have to do is just put this within the for loop so let's run our for loop here and we can say one and we can go i uh, oops less than or equal to let's just do 10 for now and increment that value then all we got to do is push this inside there we go so now this loop is going to go 10 times you know you can put that as many times as you want go to cmda we run our cda again go to php my admin articles and there you go now we have 10 more articles in there and that saves so much time when you need to set up your database and i hope that clears up how to use faker so thanks for watching guys i hope that code demonstration cleared up what faker is i hope that you have a good understanding of it now and you need to start using it in your projects so what you're waiting for go ahead